Hi guys, Dr. Whitney Bow, board certified dermatologist. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about recent findings that benzene, a known carcinogen, has been found in a number of popular sunscreen brands that you might actually have in your home right now. An independent lab, Valisher, which also has a pharmacy, recently tested about 300 sunscreen products as well as after sun products, which are things like aloe gels. And they detected benzene in close to a third of those products. Benzene is a known carcinogen. It's a known human carcinogen. It's been linked with things like lymphoma and leukemia. Benzene is not actually a sunscreen ingredient. So it's not an ingredient that you're going to find if you look for it on the label. It's what's considered a true contaminant. And brands that actually were found to have benzene include really popular brands, things like Sunbum and Neutrogena and Banana Boat and the CVS brand as well. It's less about the specific brand and more about about the individual product because for example one of the sprays by La Roche Posay was found to contain benzene whereas one of their creams was not. Interestingly sprays and gels were more likely to be contaminated with benzene than lotions and creams and it's also worth noting that both mineral as well as chemical sunscreens were both found to be contaminated. Benzene was actually found in products that didn't contain sunscreens at all right so it was also found in these after sun products those sort of cooling gels that contain aloe vera, things that are meant to be used after you get out of the sun. So this isn't a sunscreen issue, right? It's not a sunscreen ingredient. It's more of what we call a supply chain issue, meaning that somewhere in the supply chain, whether it's an ingredient supplier, it might even have to do with the packaging, right? The packaging itself might be releasing benzene into certain products. That's where the issue is. You expect a deeper investigation to ensue and Valisher that you know, independent testing uh, agency is actually strongly urging the FDA to do a recall, you know, a mass recall on a lot of these sunscreen products. What you do right now to keep yourself safe and keep your family safe? Well, I'm gonna be putting two links below. One of them is a list of products that were tested and found to contain benzene. The other list is going to be all the products that were tested and found not to contain benzene. Now it's important to realize that if your sunscreen product is not on either list, it doesn't mean that it's safe. It means that it wasn't tested for benzene. If you find your sunscreen on that list of contaminated products that are known to contain benzene based on this testing, my advice as a board certified dermatologist is to toss that product. I don't care if it's 0.1 parts per million, two parts per million, four parts per million. There is no safe amount of a carcinogen like benzene that's okay to apply to your body. And specifically in the case of sunscreen where we're supposed to be reapplying throughout the day, you just don't wanna take that risk. So guys, ignore the numbers, ignore the levels. And if you find your product on that list that has been shown to have any benzene at all, throw that product away. Now I'm still an advocate of sunscreen. We know that ultraviolet rays, that's a known carcinogen, right? We know that it causes skin cancer. You know, so what I would sort of liken this to is almost like a recall of lettuce. Like there are times that we're gonna find out that romaine is contaminated with E. coli. So while that's happening, don't eat the romaine, you know, eat the arugula maybe, <laughs> you know, have something else. It's not that all lettuce is evil and all lettuce is poisonous and bad for you. Um, it's just a matter of finding products that are safe. And unfortunately we have to now take that extra step and I'm there for you. I'm gonna be sharing those links below. I'm gonna be sharing lots of infographics and information on my Instagram channel as well, at Dr. Whitney Bow on how to find products that are benzene free and that are safe and you can feel good about using. I strongly encourage you to share this video with friends, family, so that everybody's informed because knowledge is power, guys. And I also really hope that this doesn't lead to more, you know, fear mongering surrounding sunscreens. And if you have any questions about safety of sunscreen, definitely check out, you know, my video here. I have lots of information on uh, mineral versus chemical and safety when it comes to sunscreen and uh, be healthy and just be careful.